Some of the brands in today's video, you may have heard other resellers say, these are no-go brands, leave them behind. But I'm here to show you that there's always an exception to that rule. So here I am in the Goodwill, going through plates, cups. I love selling mugs. And the first thing I see is this mug, which is Pioneer Woman, which is generally a mug that I'm like, or a brand that'll say, no, I'm not gonna buy this, or I've heard a lot of people talk about not picking this brand up anymore because it just doesn't sell. The market is saturated with it. But there are some things from this brand that can sell for huge amounts of money. For example, the rolling pins, and I've grabbed a few different ones here, and these are ones that I was seeing were selling over and over again for a great profit. So rolling pins was one of those items. Another Pioneer Woman item that's selling for a lot of money are these green jadeite pieces. It looks like vintage jadeite. And then there's also these pot belly mugs. So if you see one of the pot belly mugs, it doesn't matter which pattern, definitely look it up if it's got more of like a round tummy, kind of like a, almost like a soup mug, right? And then there were a few of these like appliances, like the dough maker, like the bread maker that had the Pioneer Woman wrap on it. And then also the Keurig style coffee maker that has the Pioneer Woman design on it. And then there's also this Instapot, or is it a slow cooker? Instant Pot that has the Pioneer Woman wrap on it as well. These are selling for really good money. So if you see those, grab them. So this Pioneer Woman, you see it's got that pedestal foot. So I put it back because it wasn't one of those pot belly mugs. So that one had to stay behind. Then I'm over here looking with the mixing bowls. They have all kinds of things in this store. This wasn't a brand that I recognized. So as much as I love those bright colors, I left that behind. But then I noticed up here, they have tons and tons of mason jars. And if you see mason jars, you might just gloss over because they all look the same to you. But there are some canning jars that are worth lots of money. And even if you can pick out one and remember it, then that's worth remembering. <laughs> the first thing I would look for is color. So you'll, you'll see some that have really bright colors or vintage looking colors, but then you'll notice on these that they have this kind of shoulder where the jar lid doesn't sit where it's flush on the sides, but it kind of sits like it's a, a neck on the shoulders. So if you see one that has a shoulder where this, the lid sits on it, if you can kind of see how that looks in the picture, then those can sell for really good money. And then as I said before, color. So if you're seeing ones that are like this purple, definitely grab it, purple, and then some of those greens. There are some newer ones that they came out with with different colors. If you can find them new in the pack, then those can sell for really good money as well. So keep a lookout for some of these colorful jars or with the, with the shoulders. Let's see what we're gonna find now. So the next thing I'm looking at are the candles. And this Goodwill always has amazing candles. And I see one there that I should have picked up, that green one. And I'm gonna show you why in just a second. Because these pillar candles, they're just, I mean, maybe one-offs, but there are some Rando candles that can sell for really good money. So if you see candles that are in the shapes of, say, animals, like these are cats or owls, they are sculpted, carved, shaped candles. So here's another one that looks like a flower. And then this is another one that's a carved beeswax candle. 75 bucks, you guys. See, here we go. This is the one that's got those botanical pieces inside them. And there were a multiple of those that were selling for good money. And then Party Light's another one that I don't normally pick up, but these big pillar with the three wicks, those can sell for really good money. I even saw some that were partially burned that had the three wicks that sold for a pretty good profit. So even if they're partially burned, might be something worth picking up. All right, I love cards, oracle cards, tarot cards, good karma cards, I, I'm a sucker for them. All right, I have to scoot away from this when they put the bins, look, look, I'm peeking, I'm peeking, I'm trying to hurry. Because at this Goodwill, they don't like you looking through the carts when they're stocking. So they'll come and fuss at you. So I try to like peek and look in whenever whenever the stalker's like around the corner or something. Or I'll just peek and say, can y'all get me that out of there? Would that be okay? All right, so let's look at some more candles. There are some, I did a whole video about some of the electric candles that have the wicks that move. Those can sell for a really good profit. I forget the... There's, there's a few different brand names, but those can sell for pretty good money. The next area we're gonna look at are some more home goods. 
but we're gonna take a look at the salt and pepper shakers. This is another area where I've heard people say, oh my gosh, salt and pepper shakers are they're over, people don't even buy them anymore, but that is not completely true. It's totally worth looking up, especially these anthropomorphic, look at me, I got the word right, I think, anthropomorphic salt and pepper shakers that look like these cute little animal faces, these can sell for a really good profit. These are Lefton. I pulled up a few of the different Lefton ones. Look at these Christmas birds. $425 these sold for. And if you think you can't find them, just keep an eye out for them because I hear that from time to time. Well, yeah, that's just one set. How am I ever going to find that? But if you didn't even have it on your radar, you definitely won't find it. So here's some more. They have those long necks. So if you see any salt and pepper shakers that have those really long necks, then that's another one to pick up. So I've got these here, and then there's another pair that I have out of order. So you'll see those in just a second. And then here's another brand. Uh, oh, I don't know. The, I have to look up the name on this one. But they look like they, they're little people, but then they have fruit or vegetable heads, food heads banana look at these so these oh napka that's what they were so they have sold for this for fifty dollars so definitely worth looking and here's another of those tall boys what they call them those long neck salt and pepper shakers and i'm sure there's others so it's worth looking up especially if you're picking them up and you're like oh these are pretty cute you know hamburger and fries come on that's nice so I always like to peek just in case. And then I see these that I probably should have looked at that look like Christmas ornaments because people love Christmas and they like, you know, switching things up and having salt and pepper shakers that look like Christmas ornaments. How adorable is that? Then still with housewares, the next thing I see when I'm here is this cookie jar that looks like a Native American lady kind of wrapped up in a blanket. I couldn't find a brand name on this, but it reminded me that cookie jars can still sell. There are some, I went, I bought some years ago at a garage sale and that, and that sold over time and they're huge. I get it, but sometimes they're worth it. So if you see Yoshi, so there's a musical Yoshi cookie jar, but then I saw some other Super Mario Brother cookie jars that sold for maybe not $1,100, but worth keeping an eye out for. And then these are Glenn Appleman. I didn't pull all of this brand, but there were multiple over and over again of these cars that sold for so much money. So if you see a car, an antique looking car cookie jar, take a look at it. And then this is another one that I was like, is this a one-off? Is this weird? No, there were so many of these that had sold for thousands of dollars. Tiger Friends Holt Howard cookie jar. And even in rough condition like this was still selling for almost a grand. I can't tell you how happy I was to see the cookie time cookie jar still up. This is one of those cookie jars that has been on my unicorn list. I'd love to find one of these. So the cookie time cookie jar still selling for like over $600, definitely worth looking for. And I just thought this one was adorable. There were so many that, that were up that I had to kind of pick and choose some of the nice ones. But this is one I saw multiple of that sold the cow jump over the moon. So there were quite a few of these that sold as well. So almost a thousand dollars on that cookie jar. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? For a cookie jar. So there's still people out there buying those cookie jars. So keep an eye out if you see one that looks really good, especially one of those cars or Mario Brothers take a peek. Next, I'm heading over to the craft section. In this section, it's just, as you can see, like a mad jumble of stuff. Sometimes there'll be bags of pins. This is where we got that giant bag of Hard Rock Cafe pins. I mean, it's just kind of a mishmash place where they, I guess, put things that they just don't know what where to put them. So looking through here, one of the things that I do find while I'm over here are these calorie shell hot plaids, hot plates, right? And I hear a lot of people saying that, that that kind of stuff doesn't sell, those calorie shells. I pick them up, I look them up, and while I don't end up buying these because they're not worth selling, there were things that were calorie shell that were. So it's definitely worth double checking other stuff that's made from that. And what I found were that these calorie shell plant hang hangers are selling for really good money, 60, 70 bucks on some of them. This one, $45. So calorie shell, plant holders, hanging plant holders are worth picking up. So definitely keep an eye out for those. Hey, Tom Holland. I see you over there looking at me. Wink, winking back. The next area I'm looking at, well, this is lamps and things, but there are also bags and buckets over here. And what I notice over here, it's, I think it's a 
Easter basket, but it's a Mickey Mouse one, but it made me remember that the popcorn buckets that people buy in the park are really collectible. So there are some that are worth more than others, especially if you see Star Wars ones. This is the Star Wars Adat popcorn bucket from the Disney parks that's selling for about $85. I know while we were there, we really wanted the Stormtrooper helmet popcorn bucket, but they were already sold out in the park. And they were one of the ones they brought in for May the 4th. And we couldn't find it, so it was really a bummer. And this is another one, I think that's, oh, Figment. So Figment popcorn bucket, $70. Again, definitely worth checking out. So if you see the popcorn buckets, definitely take a look and see if they're worth any money. We've gotten the Christmas, there's ones that are Christmas that wind up that are, you know, kind of like a carousel that play music. And we've gotten two of those, so that, that's another one. And then here we've got the Millennium Falcon popcorn bucket that sold for almost 60 bucks. And then a fan favorite, Haunted Mansion. So if you see the Haunted Mansion, Hitchhiking Ghosts, I'm pretty sure any Haunted Mansion one would probably sell for good money. Definitely take a look at those as well. So I don't get the Mickey Mouse Easter basket, but it jogged my memory about the popcorn buckets. Let me know in the comments section, what are some brands that people say, don't buy those, they're never gonna sell, but you have found something from that brand that you have proven will sell, even if it is a taboo brand or one that, that they say won't sell, because there's always an exception to the rule, isn't there? All right, and check out the comment section because I get lots of great tips. So I know you'll get lots of great tips by checking that section out as well. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have you and see you in the comments or when I go live. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks for hanging out. Bye, you guys.